As you know, I create a lot of custom Apple shortcuts for automation on iPhone or Mac. So I always wanted to look for an Android version of shortcuts. So now I find out the best alternative to Apple shortcuts for Android. It's this. It's this automate app. You see here, it's free and low ads. I also tried the. Uh, macro droid but that contains ads so it's kind of allowing so i try this one and it's much powerful and low ads so when you first launch this app you you see a few pre-made flows you can use and you can also go to community and download a lot of pre-made flows you see here top rated top new so here let me show you how to create a new one step by step so just tap this plus icon so you see here is the flow beginning that uh, first block so i'm gonna add a new block content shared so, I'll, so i want to create one that convert a youtube music video to a spotify track and play it on spotify so i always wanted to use the get clipboard clipboard get open this block you see this feature isn't officially supported since android 10 so instead i'm gonna use this count and share block so i'm gonna connect the beginning go and drag it to this count and share block we're gonna output the variable say the input uh, YouTube video URL as the, the input URL. Let's save it as uh, text. Okay. Then we're gonna use an, the SongLink API to convert it to Spotify track. So I'm gonna use HTTP request to connect this to blogs. Uh, let me go to check this. So here is the SongLink API. I, I asked the copilot to show me an example of using the SongLink API. So here is it. It is. So I'm gonna copy this URL here. A request URL. So I'm gonna delete this YouTube URL and use a use a variable. Just tap this icon. So I'm gonna use wearable input URL to select this one. And request method would be get. And uh, nothing else need to be filled. If you need to fill the header or uh, content body, you, you use another request. You can use it as use the JSON file like this one. I use the content. So I'm gonna save response as a wearable. Give the variable a name, song link, name to song link to save it. The plus icon here. Okay. Now we're gonna get the dictionary. So this is the result of the HTTP request. So this is hard to look at. So I'm gonna copy all this and use a JSON viewer. I, I use this one, JSON editor online. And just co copy the text here, tap this tree, so it's much better look. So I'm gonna need to get the Spotify link. Where is it? It's here. So I'm gonna get this URL. You see the path here? You see the path here? Just copy this. Copy the path here. Need a new block variable. variable set connect so we're gonna need json code gonna get this song link we'll get this hero character link by platforms the quote so this is the exact text so we're gonna add a quote to action get the variable name as spotify url we add another block to play this track so I'm gonna add a app start. 
collect them package I'm gonna select Spotify class also Spotify main activity so action will be at this view data URL let's be Spotify URL that should be it so we have created this flow and we're gonna connect this to this one so it will run in a circle it will leave. always wait for the content share and then run this flow so i'm gonna give you a name youtube to spotify i now let's run it open youtube i'm just try this one youtube to spotify he didn't get the track so something is wrong so I'm gonna troubleshoot this. Purple this uh, didn't get the Spotify URL. So I'm gonna uh, add a new one add it to message message dialog. I'm dragging it to this one. I'm gonna show this if it gets the. Spotify URL, Spotify URL, show Windows directory, tap save, run it, YouTube, from YouTube to Spotify, nothing, uh, this dialogue message shows nothing, so it didn't get the Spotify URL, let me just, uh, so this action is wrong. Probably I'm gonna quote here. Yeah. Change it. It'll quote. And that seems right. Tip save. We'll start it. So this time it gets the Spotify URL trick in here. So this time it's right. I'll still connect this to this app, Star app. Let me close Spotify app. Run it again. Oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Start it. So we, if you close it, that this automation. Automated flow is not available, so I'm just tap on it. So this, as I heard this, if you have Spotify Premium, this will start playing, but I don't. So just show you this track. You're gonna tap to play it. Well, I want to try this uh, like uh, since yesterday. So there's a lot I don't understand. So if you want to learn as as I have, I always get a few. I you see I get a lot of flows from the community and this check all the blogs to see how each one is working, see how they made this or this. I really hope Google can buy Automate and make it more powerful like years ago. Apple acquired workflow and change it to shortcuts. That's pretty much it. For this video, hope you find it helpful. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.